So I spent a week with the ASUS ProArt PX13. I actually went ahead and edited the initial unboxing that I posted on my channel with this device. It was a 6K project, ended up being about a 10 minute and 30 second project. And I was able to edit the project on whisper mode, so on the quiet mode on the laptop, unplugged from the charger and had a very smooth video editing experience. Now I also did the same thing with the P16. This little powerhouse has what it takes. I was saying to myself a couple of days ago that this is definitely capable of being an on-the-go device for me. My workflow when I'm out of the office usually involves editing 6K footage on a plane or at a conference where I don't have access to a power supply. So I need battery life and I need the editing process to be smooth and I need the export to be reasonably quick. And so all of that was accomplished with this device. So that 10 minute and 30 second project exported on battery power whisper mode. Now the battery power was good. I wouldn't say it was great. I was able to edit that entire project and export it. And it took me about two hours and 20 minutes. And at that point I had about 20% battery left. So that gives you a little bit of an idea of how much on the go work you could accomplish with this device. Now keep in mind, I'm editing 6K footage, perhaps you're editing 1080p or 4K, and so it might last a little bit longer for you. But I was very impressed with the 74 watt hour battery, small display, I mean, this thing really has what it takes to be on the go as a performance machine. Now the results in Photoshop were another thing that really impressed me. I've been able to run the Photoshop benchmark, full complete benchmarks will be coming in the full review, so keep an eye on the channel. I'm gonna link up a full playlist so you can check out all the content on the ProArt series. And so we scored an 8,249 inside of Photoshop. One of the best scores I have seen on my channel. I ran that test multiple times just to verify because I was like so shocked. I've, I've not seen a score that high yet. And so this device is really packing a punch. It has a maximum graphics power of 95 watts. So it is equivalent to the Asus Zephyrus G14 as far as the power delivery to the GPU. So it has everything we need from a creator standpoint, but it also has the performance of your top tier gaming laptop. So as far as the options available to you, the models you can purchase, the model I have before me is the RTX 4050 version. There's also an RTX 4060 version, which is currently available on bestbuy.com. But their materials say that you can get up to an RTX 4070. I'm not sure if that's a specific region. I'm gonna do a little bit more digging. And during my full review, we'll have more information. But if you're interested in the RTX 4060 version, it's available on bestbuy.com right now for $19.99. I'll put links in the description below. So if you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps the channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. And to consider that I was editing 6K footage on battery power whisper mode with the RTX 4050 version, that 4060 is gonna give you even more ability to edit faster, which is incredible. Now this is a two-in-one device, which is awesome, um, but you're gonna to have to hold your hand against the screen if you want to use the pen while in standard laptop clamshell mode. Now it does have a pretty stiff hinge, so you could go ahead and be drawing and using the dial, using your shortcuts. It doesn't have a very floppy hinge, which is super nice. So you can see if I push pretty hard, I can push it down. But if I'm being reasonable with how hard I'm pushing the pen on the screen, it stays in place, which is fantastic. Now, if you're somebody who likes tablet mode, you can easily flip it over use tablet mode, or you can even use the presentation mode and use the screen that way. And that's extra secure and sturdy. However, then you lose access to your shortcuts. And for me, working in Photoshop as a designer and artist, I like to be able to work around the interface for a smoother workflow. So I prefer to use the laptop in its standard mode. Now I've yet to do a lot of testing with the dial. I've mainly been doing performance and pen testing. So that will come later. Remember, I'm going to have tons of content on the channel covering the Pro Art series. So definitely check out the full playlist. Now, another thing that I loved is the easy fit into my Herschel backpack. I always put devices in here because this is technically rated for a 13 inch, but it can fit 15s and 16s nicely and it fits really easily inside of my Herschel, which is great. Now, the more interesting thing is the P16 will actually fit in this 13 inch rated backpack. Now, I'm not gonna make any promises to you that a P16 will fit in your 13 inch backpack, but it fits in mine, which makes me really happy. So it's, it's fantastic for me. Wow, that sounded really braggadocious.
Just saying I'm happy, I like it. Now, punch for punch, I am wildly impressed with this tiny little laptop. It is thin and light, it's quiet, it has great performance, and it has really solid battery life being that I'm editing 6K footage on the go. So punch for punch, one leak later, wildly impressed, and I can't wait to get my hands on possibly the RTX 4060 and 4070 to see how much more opportunity for performance this powerhouse has to offer. Remember, links in the description if you're ready to make a purchase or click or tap the screen here for more videos on the Asus ProArt series. I'll see you in the next one.